that supported the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation's Economic Mobility and Opportunity Program. ICMA is offering a series of learning and training opportunities in 2023 around boosting upward mobility in local communities. The centerpiece of this program is ICMA's Economic Mobility and Opportunity Cohort, which consists of representatives from 10 diverse local governments across the United States. These teams received grants to support their work on local challenges related to housing, job opportunities and business development, reaching vulnerable populations and support for working families, and more. Members of this cohort have come together to network and learn from subject matter experts and each other about strategies for advancing their local priorities. Uh, Paso County is a binational community. Uh, we're located uh, with our sister cities, Las Cruces, New Mexico, and Ciudad Juarez. It's a combined metro area of about two and a half million residents that uh, collectively make up what we call the Paso Norte region. Uh, a lot of economic activity, uh, home to the only medical school along the U.S.-Mexico border, uh, and a lot of initiatives aimed at trying to increase uh, mobility and, and you know activities. Honestly, I'm very excited to learn from the other communities what they've done for their communities. Um, what I'm looking forward to learning about is how we can um, serve our underdeveloped community and how we can better provide better services to that community. The county is really focused on acting as a regional as the regional government for our community and making real strategic investments in childcare. Uh, identifying where childcare deserts exist, helping existing providers upskill their staff, provide training enhancement, uh, and also figure out ways to tap into state funding that makes that, those investments sustainable for the long haul so that we can ensure that residents who need childcare can rely on existing and new facilities to provide that so they can enter the workforce, we can become more economically competitive, and also evaluating some of the disparities that exist with shift workers who may have to worry about childcare in the second and third shift. That's a huge issue for us because it's uh, some of the industries with some of the lowest wages, but then also some of the industries with some of the most competitive wages when you consider healthcare being a big uh, opportunity. So ensuring that uh, some of these residents have access to that is gonna be huge for us, especially when we look at the demographic being primarily young women um, who are leading single parent households. Uh, so they are, disproportionately affected by childcare issues. And so we want to ensure that we can provide as much support and resources uh, to that so we can in continue to see increased mobility for all residents in the region. Our hope for our community is to provide those childcare services that we can provide for our families. Too, um, I know that one of the issues we have is with our wastewater. So we're looking for, you know, to help our colonias in El Paso County to give them that opportunity to have water, running water. For more on this initiative, visit icma.org slash EMO.